All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road again. Here we are on our way. I'm taking me on along, so pack your bags, grab your detectors, an extra set of batteries, maybe a warm shirt, because it is kind of chilly today. But we're going to go out, we're going to do a little bit metal detector. I've been uh, struggling, wondering where I was going to go today, because I didn't really have anything lined up. And then last night, at about 1.30 in the morning, I got to thinking. I haven't been back to that park where I found that uh, old uh, classic, you know, 1980 uh, 007 cap pistol. And when I went, I only hit a small portion. So we're going back to that park. I got a feeling there's some oldies in there. Because, I mean, I found like a 70s style uh, um, Hot Wheels. And I checked out that uh, 007 cap pistol. It's uh, what I see online. It was a collector's edition made in 1980. So, I mean, that's uh, people in 1980 were still carrying around a bunch of silver coins and wheat pennies in their pocket. <laughs> so, hey, guys. We're going to go back. We're going to have some fun. We're going to dig some holes. We're going to get some dirt therapy. Your boy detects and detective needs it. It's been a long week. I've been suffering through a lot of rain and a lot of cold and a lot of wind, but today is a beautiful day. I mean, it might be a little bit windy and it might be a little bit cold, but other than that, it looks lovely and we're going to go dig some holes. So I'll get back to you when we get to the park. Well, that's kind of interesting. First target of the day is a spoon. It's got a maker's mark or something on it. It says 40. JJ looks kind of fancy. I mean, I don't think it's silver or nothing, but I it must have been must be stainless or something because it's not it's not really rusted or anything. Hey, I think that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Got me a little soup spoon. I'm gonna go have lunch later. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, started off the day with an interesting target. Can't beat that. Let's keep on rocking. There's got to be some more fun stuff to find here, right? All right, until the next one. Well, hell, that's pretty neat. Got me a, I don't know, is that a Hummer? <laughs> I'll take it. That's pretty cool. I love finding the toy cars. Haven't even found a coin yet, but done found a spoon and found me a neat toy car I'll definitely take it all right on to the next one well I still haven't found a coin but I did find this nice three ounce sinker hey I think I'm doing pretty good I got me a car a spoon and a, and a sinker only dug uh, one bottle cap and one can top so far so uh, hey the good targets are out way in the back having a good time this is a beautiful park check it out I don't know if you can see the water right over the horizon over there but uh, I plan on working my way past this little tot lot those trees over there is where I found that uh, cap gun but I only worked about half of them because this football field over here was really catching my eye but then when I searched the football field all I seemed to find was uh, beer cans about 12 inches down so I'm going to keep hitting down this side here. I'm going to go up along the water's edge. There's a basketball court on the other side. And we're going to see what we can find. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I had the first official uh, heart jumper of the day. I seen that and I thought I had me a little silver coin. But nope. Just some kind of rivet or something. Interesting, but uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> but man, look at that Ed. Tell me I wouldn't. Tell me that wouldn't make your heart skip a beat. All right, until the next one. So I finally, finally got the first coin of the day. Yes, sir. Just a zinc penny, but hey, it's a start. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> I already had a pretty fun hunt, and I met another detector up here. Pretty cool guy. All right, well, let me keep on hunting. Uh, I'm going to run around this uh, wooded area right here, down there back where I found that uh, 007 cap pistol. 
and see if I can't find some goodies over there. All right. Until the next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I think I have my first quarter. So I'm gonna dig this one with you. Should be right there. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, where'd he go? I knew it. I knew it had to be a quarter. I mean, it's just a state's quarter. Nothing special. But hey, I'm having a fun hunt. I already found me a car, a fishing weight, a spoon, a penny, and now a quarter. <laughs> Definitely better than sitting on the couch. Let's keep rocking, see what else we can find. There we go. Got me a 1971 Copper Memorial Penny. <laughs> I will definitely take it. All right, well, let's keep on rocking and see what else we can find. I'm just working my way around this little picnic area. I'm going to have to work my way up this way. And then I'll go down by the water's edge and see what we can't find. Okay, on to the next one, y'all. Well, that was sure a surprise. I thought for sure that was going to be junk. But it's a memorial penny. Had a really weird signal. Might have to check the plug in the hole, make sure there ain't something else in there. But hey, another coin for the board. I will definitely take it. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, got me a 1974 penny. <laughs> Man, I'd like to get out of the pennies, but hey, I'm finding targets. I'm digging holes. I'm getting that dirt therapy. Having a good time. But, uh, I got a feeling that good find just a couple holes away. Let's keep on rocking. I'm actually going to hit up next to this tree line. My buddy here has gone down the middle. Seems to be digging something right now. I wonder what he's got. <laughs> oh, well. Let me put this penny in the pocket and keep on rocking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I don't think this one's a fake. I think I got it on this one. Oh, I already know it's a rosy. What well, we got? <laughs> 1964, baby. Just barely made it, but look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I'll take it every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, I knew I, I was getting the 70s. I knew 60s were right behind. What, I get a 72 and a 74 penny? I knew it was coming, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me keep rocking. I'm gonna I'm 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 cling real close to this wood line because I don't think no one's probably hit it like I've hit. I'm gonna hit it. And we're gonna see if we can't find some more old goodies. Yes, sir. Well, got me a 1982 penny. A little bit older, I've been finding a few zinkers. Nothing much, but uh, I'm gonna keep on hunting and see what I can't dig up. We're bound to find out something good, right? <laughs> All right, on to the next one. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? And that's smooth. If that's a coin, that's old. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Oh, gosh. That's ugly, but it's beautiful. What was that, 19? I think that's 1905. Man. What is that, 115 years old? <laughs> let me look, let me show you something. See, I'm detecting in this park, right? You see where the wood line is? How it kind of comes over? Well, me. I'm going to swing up in it. <laughs> Look at that hole. About eight inches deep. A barber dime. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, the buddy over here was just telling me about a barber half he found. And now I got a barber dime. What do you know about that? 
two silvers today. Oh man. Whew. Okay. Now one. I wish I had my machete. I'd go up in here to take the <laughs> Okay. Let me put this in my pouch. And I'm going to keep on detecting this wood line. See if I can't find anything else. I was starting to wonder. I found a couple of uh, just trash targets. You know, cigar wrappers and ketchup packs and crap around this edge. It's the first good target I found on the uh, wooded edge. But, oh, man. Is that not worth it or what? Man, it is slick all the way around. Well, the back looks good, but it is a slick dude. All right, well, my pinpointer's going crazy. I'm going crazy. I need to take a deep breath. <laughs> Let me keep hunting to see if we can't find some other goodies in this park. <laughs> well, bumping this wood line, I got another good dime signal. I was hoping me for another silver. But hey, I got this nifty looking little car. Yeah, I still got my silver dime in my hand. I've actually been carrying it through my lips. I'm waiting to see my buddy over here is detecting. I want to show him. <laughs> he was just showing me a barber hat he had found, and I think he gave me good luck. So I want to tell him. But hey, that's a pretty cool looking little car. I will definitely take it. Another interesting find for the board. Let's keep rocking. Well, I definitely wasn't planning on finding that. I got half a fishing rod. Broke. But it's still got line on it, a hook and a sinker. I'm definitely going to get that out of here. Even got a swivel. I might be able to use that gear, but man, somebody just threw this out in the woods like a jacket. Well, like a jerk. <laughs> so I'm going to remove that. Some wildlife going to catch a foot on that and or a kid or something. I'm going to go throw that in the back of my truck. You always got to clean up the spots you hunt. See, the park's over there. I'm kind of hunting. I found a little trail in the woods here. Beat around a little bit. Didn't find much. Except for this. But, so I'm going to get this out of here. And I'm going uh, to be back. And we're going to do some more detecting. Well, what could it be, George? What could it be? Pretty sure it's just a penny. <laughs> Looks like it. But, hey. Another coin on the board. I'm going to say it's a penny because I can't really tell. Feels like a zinc penny, so I'm going to call it a zinc penny. If it walks like a zinc penny and talks like a zinc penny, then the Texan detector is going to call it a zinc penny. <laughs> hey, but I'll take it. Another coin in the pocket. Let's keep rocking. My buddy had to leave, so I'm the lone detector again. Uh, but I'm going to keep on rocking. There's an area down here I really want to detect, but I still got this fishing pole in my hand, so I'm going to go take it to my truck, and I'm going to keep on rocking. Well, I'm not exactly sure what that is. thought it was the end of a light bulb, but there's no guts left in it. Something different. Rang up super high. I had to dig it. Rang up like a half. But it's definitely not a half. <laughs> hey, but you got to dig those signals, man. Let's keep rocking. Uh, I talked to my buddy before he left. Man, he found a nice 925 ring with a stone in it. I was kind of jealous. <laughs> I imagine he was kind of jealous when I dropped that barber on him, too. But, hey, that's the way it is, ain't it? All right, well, let's keep going. See if I can't find something better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I found another coin. I've dug a lot of trash since the last time I talked to y'all. Beer cans and uh, chrome trim and all kinds of garbage. But uh, finally got me another dime. For, I think it's the first dime I got today. It's clad. But uh, look, it's been there a while. Let's see if I can get a date off of it. I can't see nothing, can you? Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes or because I'm in shadow here, but I see a D mint mark, but I don't see no date. <laughs> Maybe I got some kind of coin error. No, I doubt it. Just can't see it probably. But hey, another dime for the pocket. Yeah, I tried on the other side where my buddy found that ring. 
and it is just too trashy for me to tell you the truth so I came back over here to this wooded area where I was ha I've had luck the last two times and got me another another coin well let's keep on rocking I don't know how much longer the Texan detectors got to detect but we're going to uh, make the most of it and see if we can't find some more good well that's a nifty looking one I think I just broke the windshield trying to wipe the dirt off of it but oh well that's a cool looking little toy car. Well, now, I don't think it's that old. But man, that's the third one I found today. This must be the, the, the car lot. It must be the park where everybody plays with the cars. I thought I had a quarter. Oh! Hold the phone. What is this? I think I found the front wheels. Oh no, it's nothing. Thought maybe I might have had another car, but nope, it's just the front wheels to this one. I'm not sure how they go on there, probably like this. There we go. Hey, hey. All right, well, that's the third car today. <laughs> I wish I was finding a silver as much as I was finding cars, but okay, I'll keep rocking. Keep on seeing what we can find. That's, that's pretty nifty, though. I like it. Old school. Just thought I'd give you a quick view of what's at the edge of this park. Pretty nifty place. Alright, well let's get back to detecting. I got a high signal right here. I got a feeling it's trash, but I'm going to go investigate. I'll get back with you if, it th if it's anything good. Well, that one fooled me. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but that edge sure looks silver. But I... I think that's a 1972. Dad gummit. Am I crazy? Or does that edge not look silver? <laughs> Alright. Well, I didn't think so. It was kind of shallow anyway. But hey, it's another coin for the pocket. Let's keep on rocking. I think the Texan detector is just about done for today. Uh, so I'm going to uh, hunt my way back to the truck. If I find anything good, I will give you a holla. If not, I will see you at the wrap-up. Thought for sure I had a wheat penny on this one. Had the right sound. It was pretty deep. And then when I dug in the hole, I started finding old, an old piece of brick. I was like, man, there's been an old house here or something. But it's just a 1965. But hey, still glad to have it. Going to put it in the pocket. Going to keep on rocking. And uh, who knows, the next hole might be the good one. The big one. This is the big one, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, that's a strange thing to find in the top lot, huh? Even works. Sounds like it's got a pretty good amount of fuel oil in it. Well, I'll keep it. I'm glad I got it for a top dead. <laughs> it kind of blended in. I almost didn't see it. All right, well, let's keep on going. I'm almost back to the truck. Uh, this might be the last find of the day for me. Who knows? If it is, I'll see you at the wrap-up. All right, y'all. Your buddy, the Texan Detective, made it home. Now it's time for the wrap-up. Had a great day detecting. Dug up a bunch of fun stuff. Let me show you what I found. All right, well, I'm not quite sure what that is. It's some kind of piece of something. I just thought it was interesting, so I stuck it in the pouch. Got me three cars today that makes me happy 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 I did find this interesting spoon and it does have if I can get it to focus here oh well it says 40 there I gotta sit down maybe make it better it says 40 there and then says I don't know but it, it's interesting um, I did find 11 pennies, one clad dime. I found four quarters. Uh, these two right here were actually almost surface finds. They just were in the grass. Then, for the stars of today's show, I did find one 1964 Roosevelt and one very smooth, very worn out, very old Barber Dime. And I believe that says 1905. 
so I found a 115 year old dime. Does that not make you happy, happy? Ooh, I did not notice this in the field. It is an S mint mark. That makes me even happier. I, I don't know if y'all... Yep, definitely an S mint mark. Yeah, I don't find a whole lot of S mint mark coins here in Texas, so that is amazing. All right, well, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, coming along for the fun. I sure had a blast. I hope you did too. So until next time, it's your buddy, the Texan Detector, saying happy hunting and stay dirty, my friends. You know why? Because if you ain't getting dirty, you ain't finding nothing. You ain't having no fun. We can't have that now, can we? Now, let me tell you, it was muddy and dirty today. I got dirty. <laughs> until next time.